there. You killed her. Hey, everybody. Movie time. So last week we watched The Martian. It was beautiful. It was uplifting and it had a happy ending, which really fueled me to come into this week and watch Halloween. I'm so scared. <laughs> Y'all, I have avoided this movie my whole life. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can take it or not. But I feel like the more horror that I watch, the more I realize I am gonna make it. And maybe it's just because I'm older now, but I haven't had nightmares from these movies, really. So I think it's time, y'all. I think it's time for Halloween. Y'all have been suggesting it to me for a long time. It seems like there's a new Halloween movie that's about to come out. And since I just got my Regal Pass back, let me go on ahead and catch up on the Halloweens. Also, we are still gonna keep doing Nightmare on Elm Street, y'all. Don't think I forgot about it. But I guess we're about to meet a new psycho. What I know about this movie is that it's directed by the main man, John Carpenter, really. I had never seen any of his movies and I have loved every single one. So I'm also excited to see this movie for that reason. And also I know it stars Jamie Lee Curtis, y'all. <laughs> Freaky Friday was my jam growing up. So here we go. That's where this music is from. I recognize this creepy freaking song. Introducing, aw, Jamie Lee. I hope she has Nancy levels of bad bitchness. I forgot how much John Carpenter loves a long ass intro. I can appreciate it. Let me just sit in the room. It's already scary. <laughs> like, what is this POV? Who the hell is creeping around your house? <laughs> Yo, I'm scared. <laughs> oh my God. I'm already more scared than I was for Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> quick. <laughs> Judith, do you really want him to call? That is not worth your time. <laughs> oh god, it's just her there alone. <laughs> Michael, whoever, wherever he is. It did not just start thunderstorming. I am already motherfucking scared. <laughs> Oh my god, Judith, you don't sense this? Michael. What? So Michael is, what, your brother? What the fuck? What are you gonna say to the parents? Michael. He's a child! He's little! Why the fuck did he do that? I'm sorry, you're not gonna wrestle this knife away from your psychotic little monster of a son? Y'all just gonna stand there all three looking confused? Same. Oh. It's been 15 years? I can't tell which thunder is the TV and which thunder is here. Ooh, cute nurse look, girl. He hasn't spoken a word in 15 years. Don't underestimate it. Don't you think we could refer to it as him? Mm -hmm. If you say so. Oh my God, this is the problem though. People who are ill, you still have to see them as people. And you actually never wanted to get out. Never. I mean, what he did was psychotic, but Why he was so little. Of County, if you just go because that is the law. Is there no way open him? <laughs> Since when did they let them wander around? For real, why is everybody just out here in the storm? Pull up to the main gate. Shouldn't we pull up? Oh, um, I don't think we should pull up to the main gate. Are all of these people murderers? <laughs> Oh. Shouldn't we go on up to the hospital and wait? Bruh, you are gonna get jumped. Oh! What, uh, uh, what would possess you? I mean, bitch, why? <laughs> For fuck's sake, why would you roll down the window? Girl. Oh, God. Oh. Girl, this doesn't help 
help us, yeah. I mean, honestly. Not that I would have done it. I don't know what you're supposed to do. The evil is gone. That was him, that was Michael? What a freaking mess. Please, people of Haddonfield, take cover. Girl, get a real backpack. Don't forget to drop the key off at the Myers place. I won't. Be sure to leave it under the mat. I would never fucking go there. Not even to drop the key under the mat. To hell with you. That place is haunted. Oh my god, I didn't even recognize that that was Jamie. Can we make jack o -lanterns? Sure. Can we watch the monster movies? Sure. Can you read to me? Can we make popcorn? Sure, sure, sure. Oh, <laughs> this looks like so much fun. I'm sure it will be really nice. Oh my god, it even fucking looks haunted. <laughs> it is dilapidated. No one has lived there since the murder. You're not supposed to go up there. Yes, I am. I mean, no surprise. Uh-uh. <laughs> Ooh, he's in there. Why did you say never to go up there? You should listen to Lonnie. Lonnie, that's a haunted house. It is. He said awful stuff happened there once. Mm -hmm. Lonnie and I probably won't get out of the sixth grade. Don't yeah. give this child a false sense of security. <laughs> he should stay away from that place. Just the two he just hates pretty teenage girls? Is that what it is? Well, it was your patient, Doctor. If precautions weren't strong enough, you should have told somebody. I told everybody! Sam Haddonfield is 150 miles away from here now. Now, for God's sakes, he can't drive a car. He was doing very well last night. He's already there. Around here gave him lessons. And, like, he's a murderer. He can steal money, take a bus. There's any number of ways he could get there. Don't be a fool, goddammit. The idea. <sighs> Bitch, I don't even know what the question is. I'm Cross being stopped. The fate was somehow related only to religion, whereas Samuel's felt. This night is a free for all. It was like a natural element, like earth, air, fire, and water. That's right. Good on you. <laughs> that was me in school. I can always come up with something. <laughs> what the fuck? Leave him alone, you little bastard. Can y'all get a life? Damn! Fuck them little kids. Oh, sorry, I was kidding. <laughs> so he's stalking the both of them? Damn. <laughs> An official state vehicle and it's the 70s and those bitches can't even track it! That's too bad. Oh no, is he gonna trust him? Cause he's in a car with a decal on the side? You're breathing. Makes me nauseous. He's on his way. You've got to believe me, officer. He is coming to Haddonfield. He is there. So he was there. Ooh. Sorry, Phelps. Oh, look at you. Look at all the books you have. You need a shopping cart to get home. Or a backpack. Were there no backpacks in the 70s? Three new cheers to learn in the morning. The game is in the afternoon. I have to get my hair done at five, and the dance is at eight. I'll be totally wiped out. As usual, I have nothing to do. It's your own fault, and I don't feel a bit sorry for you. Uh, hey, Damn, out. girl. I hey. thought we were friends. I forgot my chemistry book. So who cares? I always forget my chemistry book, and my math book, and my English book, and my... Well, girl, <laughs> Jamie's going places, okay? Oh, really she needs her anyway, books. It doesn't really matter if you have your books or not. Hey, isn't that Devon Graham? Some of us like to read and learn, girl. <laughs> I don't think so. I think he's cute. Bitch, that man is a murderer. Ugh. Hey, jerk! Speed kills! Crazy as hell. I just would never. Different times. Ah, can you take a joke? It's a stranger! You don't just yell jokes at strangers. You need new friends, totally. Jamie. I hate a guy with a car and no sense of humor. I'm babysitting the Doyles. It's only three houses down. We can keep each other company. Oh, terrific. I've got three choices. Watch the kids sleep, listen to Linda school around, or talk to you. Aren't we friends? Damn, girl. Wait. Is he watching them now? Oh my god, he was. We switched to that shaky cam. That's how I can tell. Ugh. Ah, oh, he's so fucking creepy. I don't see anything. You, that when you, yell that. you are one ballsy bitch. I mean, I would at least have my pocket knife in hand. Damn, you just gonna roll up on somebody you don't even know? With nothing but your books? He wants to take you out tonight. <laughs> Jamie is a running. Oh, Lori. Scared another one away. 
God! I should never go out. You guys think I'm too smart. I don't. I think you're wacko. Now you're seeing men behind bushes. I really need a new friend. <laughs> well, home sweet home. See you later. Bye. Don't Bye. miss you. Bye. Oh my God. God I'm scared. <laughs> you know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare, huh? Bless you, sir. Even though I was turning around, I know you saw me coming. You walked into me too, bitch. An asshole, just like your daughter. <laughs> Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Aww. I hope we get to have Halloween this year. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> A knife, get a gun, get a dog, get all three. Hello? Hello? Who is this? A fucking freak. Hello? Why'd you hang up on me? Annie? Was that you? Bitch! <laughs> Why did you say anything? You scared me to death. Girl, I can't stand you. Could you hear me? thought it was an obscene phone call. Bitch, why do you it. wait until after you swallow it to call Listen, me? Listen, my mother's letting me use your car. I'll pick you up. Calm down. Girl, but you're right. You didn't even lock your door. <laughs> that big ass pumpkin. <laughs> Tommy. Because the bullies crushed his. Hurry up. <laughs> she is so fucking rude. <laughs> I've never talked to my friends this way. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you talk shit, but y'all laugh after. Judith Myers, row 18, clock 20. I remember over in Russellville, old Charlie Bowles. One night he excused himself from the table, went out to the garage. He got himself a hacksaw, and then went back into the house, and then he proceeded. Where are we? Yes, uh, right in again. the story, please. Yeah, I don't need Myers, to know. Judith Myers. Why do they do it? Goddamn kids. They took the headstone? 18, 19. Judith Myers. At least you know he's he here. Came home. He did indeed. <laughs> you still spooked? I wasn't spooked. <laughs> what does Jamie know about slugging that? I've always said you make a fabulous Girl Scout. Thanks. For that matter, I might as well be a yeah. Girl Scout myself tonight. Six straight hours of horror movies. <laughs> little Lindsay Wallace won't know what hit her. <laughs> oh, God. You even torment the little bitch you babysitting? <laughs> Why does anybody <laughs> deal with you, Annie? He's following y'all. Dr. Sam Lewis. Lee Brackett. I'd like to have a word with you if I could. Well, maybe a few minutes. It's, 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 just it's the most important Ten conversation minutes. you're going to have to I'll be here. Oh my God. Is he going to drive by, shoot you or something? Because why is he right there looking at you, informing the police that he's in town? You didn't wear the dance for me. I didn't know you thought about things like that, Lori. Why can't you just answer you know, her? You could ask somebody. Well, I couldn't. Sure you could. For real. You have a you fantastic face, Jamie. <laughs> rather go with Ben Tramer. So you do think about things like that, huh, Lori? Shut up. He's cute. Just because you can't read and also date people. <laughs> so he's going to murder Annie. Poor little Lindsay Wallace. Annie Kitten Haddonfield thinks this place is haunted. Because it fucking is. You don't just live in a place that has memories that dark. <laughs> what is that? Dog. It's a dog? What Stay you... warm. He got hungry. And ain't a dog? Yeah, he wouldn't do that. This is another man. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Once again, we ain't dealing with a man. Except for he is a man, and honestly, that makes it creepier. This could happen. People go crazy and murder people all the fucking time. He could have seen us through this window. He could have seen inside. Seems to me you're just plain scared. Yeah. <laughs> well. Okay. Yeah, I, I am. Uh, Honestly, yes, and you should be too. I met him 15 years ago. I, I was told there was nothing left. Six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. Behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. How did you realize? What do we that do? Without him ever speaking. He's been here once tonight. I'm gonna wait for him. Oh, I you are. For the embodiment if of evil? That, they'll see him on every street corner. I'll check back in Doctor, <laughs> I think you are underqualified for the mission at hand. Having fun? I have big, big news for you. 
Oops. said the thing flashbacks. <laughs> oh my god, that dog has good taste. He can't stand your ass either. <laughs> But actually, he's trying to save. Get this dog out of the kitchen right now! I'm the only person in the world he doesn't like. <laughs> ah. So what is this big, big news? So he has great What taste. would you say if I told you that you were going to the homecoming dance tomorrow night? I'd probably say you had the wrong number. You got her attack? <laughs> well... Oh, you didn't. Please tell me you didn't. <sighs> well, she's Why trying to have you out this time, girl. <laughs> I mean, she crossed the boundary, but damn, you want him, yeah, don't you? <laughs> No! Louie, the boogie man's outside, look! Oh, his creepy ass is gone. Go watch TV. Just tell me. Just the child I'm looking after. Telling me that something's very wrong. Oh! Stop it. You're messing myself. I gotta call you back. Girl, you hung up the phone just in time to get murdered. Lizzie don't give two bucks and you know that. to watch the thing girl and look at Annie out here backlit button down about to get murdered <gasps> oh my god oh my god oh god hello <sighs> who's there you killer oh is this one of your cheap tricks guess not tricks for Annie tonight I have to go all the way outside <laughs> She doesn't give a fuck about you. Oh, <laughs> Lindsay yeah. could not care less. Oh, Lindsay, get the phone. Girl, if you weren't so terrible, this wouldn't be happening to you. <laughs> Lindsay would have answered the phone, come to ring it to you, oh. saw the murderer, told Paul. Hi, Lindsay, this is Paul. Is Annie there? Yes, she is. Get her for me, will you? Okay. Oh, damn, I forgot it's the 70s and you can't bring the phone with you. full fucking mess. Lindsay is really the one babysitting you. You gotta give her a cut of your hourly. Now promise me you won't tell anybody about this. <laughs> I'm gonna tell everybody. Everybody. <laughs> My babysitter is a fool girl. She was ass up in the window. That locked herself in the laundry room. She got stuck in the window. She'll be right here. Thank you. Thank you, Lindsay. Oh. A real one. <laughs> oh, hi, Paul. Why don't you just walk up? Can you please well, shut and lock the door? That's all you ever think about. I think that's all you ever think about. I think about lots of things. And why don't we not stand here talking about them and get down to doing them? Why don't you... Lock your doors, bolt your windows, and People with turn sense do. I'm going to pick up Paul. <laughs> I don't want to. Well, if I can fix it so you can watch TV with Tommy Doyle, would you like that? Yeah. Oh, you're well, going to go down the block. Me. I almost expected Annie to leave you there, honestly, the way she acts. Thank God y'all got out of there. Oh, and you're bringing the popcorn. <laughs> the breathing, the breathing, the breathing. Listen, I'll call you in an hour or so, okay? Yeah. Bye. Bitch, Bye. I'm getting your hourly for this whole time. You are the worst well, babysitter. Girl through again. I know, you're doing all the work. Lindsay and I will be splitting your money, Annie. Oh, I give you all. No keys. I love how everybody walks around singing though, if that ain't me. <laughs> oh my God, she's going back into the house alone to get murdered. Honestly, this is a really cute look for her too. This blanket <laughs> and the knee highs. <laughs> You don't notice that you didn't even have to unlock the door that time? You went back to get the keys. <laughs> no one can hear that horn. Oh, gouge his eyes out or something. Oh. 
Oh, Annie, girl, you didn't deserve that. You really didn't. Oh my God, you see it, Tommy? Scream bloody fucking murder, child. <laughs> Like he's old enough to be like, he was carrying her in the house. <laughs> you should check. Damn Tommy, you really just gonna sit back down and keep on watching whatever Star Trek or whatever the fuck? Not you wasting time hiding in the bushes while he's off murdering a girl. No, I have to go in. Oh my God. You little bully bitch is a lackey. Get your ass away from there. <laughs> Good. They needed that. But do your job. <laughs> Bitch. Jesus. You know we hunt a murderer. Damn. Yeah. Sneak up. I have the feeling you're way off on this. You have well, the wrong feeling. You're exactly. You're not doing very much to prove me wrong. Death has come to your little town, Sheriff. You can either ignore it or you can help me to stop it. Yikes. More fancy talk. Doctor, do you know what Haddonfield is? Families. Children all lined up in rows up and down these streets. Exactly. You're telling me they're lined up for a slaughterhouse. They could be. And if you are right, damn you for letting him go. I did not let him go, bitch. I did everything in my power, including using insane hyperbole for somebody I had never even spoken to. <laughs> And we'll just talk a little, then Annie will distract Lindsay. That's when we go upstairs to the first bedroom on the left. You got it? Okay, first I rip your clothes off, <laughs> then you rip my clothes off, then we rip Lindsay's clothes off. Yeah, I think I got it. <laughs> Lindsay is the little girl. And also, why do y'all need to go fuck at her house? You have this van. Can't you just get in the back? Oh, God, y'all. You're about to get murdered. Yeah, it's totally dark. Yeah. <laughs> you don't find that odd that nobody's home and the, the door is unlocked. Let's look for a note. What happens if Lindsay's parents come home and these two stranger teenagers are just hugging on their couch? Anyway, moot point, because here's your death. Gonna get ya. No, he's not. Hey, nobody's getting anybody. Stop scaring each other. Oh, so sweet, Jamie. Hey, is Annie around? She probably stopped off someplace. Have her call me when she gets home though. I have Lindsay here and I want to know what time to put her to bed. Okay. The parents Later. aren't gonna mind that Lindsay we isn't at home. We definitely will. Good luck, freaks. Lindsay is gone for the night. Here we go. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad, girl, because it was your last. I'll be right back. Not only did you come to this stranger's house and fuck in their bed, but now you smuggin'? on their sheets? I would murder you children myself. Is he right there? Oh God, I think I can see him. Okay. Ooh, the breathing. <gasps> God, he's so strong. Like no one can ever fight him off. And he's literally got one hand around your throat. He's lifted you. He's like the fucking Terminator. Oh, a kitchen knife. stabbed you so hard into the door that you're stuck there? Oh my god. Oh, girl. Oh, and you got jokes? Fucking ghost. <laughs> girl! Alright, alright, come on, where's my beer? Go. Well, can't you answer me? Okay, he doesn't speak. Well, I'm gonna call Lori. Oh, at least someone will know what's about to go down. For once. Hurry up, hurry, hurry. Hello? For real, girl, why do your choke All sound right. sound exactly the same as your mom? Now I get the same squealing. I'll kill you if this is a joke. Oh, girl, taken care of. Ah, oh, this fucking mask. Spare us. Why did he have to be fixated on you? He's murdering everyone in your life. And here you are waiting around like Boo Boo the Fool in this bush still? It's very frustrating. Girl, what you about to do? Oh, you're leaving the house? What about the children? Stay aside, if only for the children. Mom? Linda? Not even close. Linda? 
Jamie is serving looks in this movie though. The flip, the bell pan, the loose button down tucked in. Girl, I'm loving it. Linda? Bob? The door is open. It's dark inside. No one's answering. You'd be like, this is a step too far. All right, Annie. Annie's always fucking around. This way you should never play too much. All of a sudden there's a murderer and bitches think you joking. All right, meatheads, joke's over. I'll be sorry. Already sorry. Already past sorry. Can't feel nothing, dead. Oh, sometimes we just can't leave well enough alone. My friend's probably dead. And it's not my place to investigate, find the body, and have to live with that image for the rest of my life. How is he so strong? <laughs> this is sick! This is sick what he set up! God, it's like a haunted house of murdered loved ones! Oh, run, 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 Oh, honey, you're too in shock? I don't understand. <laughs> Please drag yourself out the door and scream bloody fucking murder. Okay, run, run, run to the back. Okay, whatever, that door is glass. It can't hold you. Throw a chair through it. Girl, the handle isn't working. Maybe we should try something else. He can punch through solid wood. Somebody help me, please. Good job. Hello? What happened to row after row of children and families? Where the fuck is the neighbors? Hello? Whoa, whoa. Can't please help me! Please! Oh my god, this is my nightmare. What the fuck? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you hear a girl screaming for help and close your fucking blinds? This is a nightmare. They're upstairs asleep. He'd have to hear you. Wake up. Understand what you need. Come downstairs. Look. Oh, Tommy. Tommy. Oh, he's right there, girl. Get another potted plant and throw it at this bitch. Tommy, now I know you hear the urgency in my voice, honey. Do as I say. Hurry. Bitch, you were right, okay? <laughs> Sorry, Tommy. It's not your fault. <laughs> Oh, you cut the fucking power of the phone line. Damn, the 70s. Oh, no. <laughs> no cell phones, no nothing. Neighbors don't give a damn. <gasps> the window's open. Okay, we got a knitting needle. Oh, oh he's just so strong. Good job, bitch. Good job. She's a fighter. I love that. It wasn't enough, but you gave it something. Yes, take that knife for yourself. Okay, I know you don't want to do this, but you need to leap over that couch and you need to stab that bitch in the carotid artery. Do it now, Jamie. He leaves you no choice. The children are upstairs. Girl, what? I'm sorry, we've had enough of the sensation of piercing human flesh. I get it, but you need to. moseying down the way. Where were you? I went to the Myers house. I where... found the car. He's here. You go around the back of the houses. I'll watch the front. Watch the front? I don't understand. If you think he's here, why are we not calling back up? Tommy? I mean, Lindsay? you literally left him downstairs with the knife. Babies. I'm scared. There's nothing to be scared You should be. Are you sure? Jamie! How? Oh, you look so cute. I killed him. No, you didn't. He who can't kill the boogeyman. Now lock the door! Oh, girl. oh, okay, so she went for smarts. How clever is this sus you have? Is he gonna let you go out the window? He was straight for the closet! He didn't buy a present! I mean, I don't see how this 
wicker door is holding you after you punched through the solid door at the other house. Okay, girl, we'll pick up some shards of wood and do something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, a wire hanger. Good idea. Girl, don't make it long. It'll be flimsy. Oh, he dropped the knife. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Good. Okay, stab him everywhere. Ankles, chest, face, back, ass, everywhere. One stab. Girl, can we please stop with the hit it and quit it? We need to be women of longevity, okay? You stab until that bitch is dead. Kill him, girl. Kill him for real this time. Girl, and then throws the knife away again. <laughs> Jamie, we already tried this version. I want you to go down the street to Mackenzie's house. I want you to tell them to call the police. Go do as I say. You're just gonna wait there, though? She sure he's dead this time? Of course she's wrong. Bitch, kid. Just the second you hit the door frame, screaming. Girl, do we not sense the rising doom behind us? Oh, finally, doctor. What does your face look like? Good job for shooting him in the face. He's fine. Do it again. I get. I get. Enter the clip or the the rounds. It's not a clip type of gun. <laughs> Please, <laughs> just kill him. <laughs> Nine one one sent back up. This bitch is invincible. What's the cookie man? As a matter of fact, it was. <gasps> of course. I mean, we know there are like twelve different Halloween movies, so of course this bitch is dead. Oh, Jamie. And the children are just out there running down the block trying to get to the McKenzie's. Oh, of course. That's good. We just get the breathing. Well, y'all, that was fucking scary. <laughs> That wasn't like the others. The others wouldn't really happen. Like, okay, maybe aliens would land and the thing could happen, but it never has, so I'm not worried. Maybe some bitch could haunt your nightmares, but it never has to me, so I'm not worried. But a bitch in a mask with a knife, those bitches are everywhere. God. The movie was good, though. <laughs> the movie was really good, though. Jamie Lee Curtis was amazing and looked stunning. Her friends were total a-holes but they did not deserve to go out like that well i got one halloween under my belt and i got one nightmare on elm street <laughs> i guess i'm just gonna keep on zigzagging between the two and we'll do some other movies from the list in the meantime and by the time it gets to be halloween i have so many horror movie suggestions from you guys i'm sure the entire month of october will just be horror movies so <sighs> thank you everyone <laughs> that suggestion it really was really good i hope i don't have nightmares <laughs> i really don't know what that was okay well good night everybody i'll see you next week <laughs>